The city of Lincoln received a $2.2 million check to help with a growing issue across the country, youth homelessness. Channel 8's Jael Pembroke has more as we cover Lincoln tonight. Jael? With the joy of receiving funds, the mayor and officials are working to end youth homelessness in Lincoln. But there is one emotion a youth tells me he just can't shake. It's the loneliness. I'm surprised I even made it this far. Like, I got out of that situation. But, like, yeah, I think it was more of a mental, mental strain than anything. 18-year-old Hassani Collins was homeless for a year. He moved from Omaha to Lincoln for a more positive environment, getting away from gang violence. He says he stayed with friends, visited youth and food centers, and slept in parks until he received help from Cedars. So I was living with friends, and then I, like, I remember sleeping in like a car for like a month or two, and then bouncing from place to place. But then eventually, like, I would go to sleep at parks and stuff like that. Now Lincoln has received a grant to help offer more low-income housing in the city. Mayor Lirion Gaylor Baird announced that the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development has awarded $2.2 million to Lincoln's Youth Homeless Demonstration Program. It will support a wide range of housing and supportive services specifically designed to assist young people. You know, at any given time, you, I think most people would be surprised to learn that there are maybe 500 students at LPS who are couch surfing. They may not be someone you see on the streets, but they don't have a stable. They don't have stable housing. Um, they're depending on the generosity of relatives or friends or neighbors. Um, that instability is something we want to put an end to. The mayor said 2,600 youth between the ages of 16 and 24 have experienced a homeless episode over the last two years. Hassani hopes more people know that homelessness does happen and kids who are without a secure place now have one. There's not enough awareness about it, like in schools and stuff like that. Like a lot of kids feel embarrassed and that's how I felt too, to even speak up about it. Like I, I hate it for so long. Not many people know, people that know me and stuff like that, they, they would never guess that I've been through those things. And um, I feel like that people should really talk about it more. Certain organizations should talk about it. Collins also calls for more role models for teens who need help. Now that he has a stable home, he is on the Cedars board, helping others and intends to graduate soon. Hopefully that money can make a positive impact for them. Thank you very much, Jael, for the story.